we have a report of insurance policies recently sold. In the first column, we have the policy number, policy date, amount, agent, client's first, last name, and address. The sum ifs function lets you add anything based on one or multiple criteria. Right here, we only want to add the sales greater than 206K. Let's use the sum ifs to add only the sales made by Rebecca to the Allen family in Texas. We have three criteria or conditions, the agent name, the client's last name, and the state. In this cell, let's go ahead and type equal sum ifs, open parentheses or press tab, and then the sum range will be our first selection, which is the amount. And now after that, we are going to select our agent column. This is where our criteria lives, our first one. Next, we're going to select our Rebecca name, any cell with her name, then follow by the last name. Again, we click on Allen. And lastly, we can click on the state. Notice that we can click on Texas or write it. <laughs> now, once you press enter, you should verify your answers. So let's take a look. Let's see if the result is correct. If we add 250 and 205, we should have 455K. Let's review very quickly the syntax of the sum ifs function. Start with sum range. What are you adding? Criteria range. Where is your list of conditions at or which column? Criteria one. What is the condition that you're looking for? Criteria range two. Where is your second list of conditions at? And then what is your second condition? And we can go on with 127 range and criteria pairs. In the second example, we want to add only the sales made in 2022 from Daniel Goldsmith. So here we need to set a condition greater or equal than a date, in this case 1122. With equal sum ifs, press tab. Now let's select the sum range, which is the amount column. And then we are going to select the agent column which is our first criteria range. Next, we're going to click in any of the cells where the name Daniel Goldsmith is. And lastly, we're going to select the date columns, the policy dates. And then as the criteria, we're going to type in quotes greater or equal that 1122, close the quotes and the parentheses, press enter. If you look at the table, there are two records with no agent name. These were the cells made by the main office. To add empty cells as a condition, we're going to type the sum ifs statement as we have done before, selecting the amount of column. Then we're going to select our agent column. And this time we're actually going to select the double quotes. Look at the example on the screen and that's it. You're going to press enter and voila. There are two cells from the main office for 120 and 150 each. The total is 270, which is correct. Now, what if you want to search the opposite or when the cell is not empty, then you're going to add these two symbols inside the quote and it will add every agent in the list. To verify it, just add the 270 from the blank cells and it should give you the grand total of 1,524,000 as highlighted on the table. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share to get more Excel tips. And also please comment below. Thank you so much for your support. So let's kick it up a notch with the wildcards. First, we want to add the records whose city starts with H. So we're going to write in the sum ifs. You're going to see a little syntax at the end. On, inside those quotes, we're going to type the H and the star, like as you see in the illustration. So wildcards work with text and not numbers. We're looking for policies in Pine Street and with the last name of the agent as Potter. If we try to use the same syntax, the P and the star under the quotes, it will not work because the P is not at the beginning of the column. This time we will write our sum ifs function using the same rules as before, but this time we need to add two asterisks, one at the beginning and one at the end for both Pine and also for Potter. So we're almost done. Close parenthesis and there you have it. In our last tip, if we need to add the amounts where the address ends with lane, then we can add the star lane inside quotes, and then it will return the highlighted address in Provo, Texas. 
Let us know in the comments which example do you like the most. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you once again.